Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about GFC and autologous autosomes. What are they? How they can help you get your hair back? So my dear friend, those who are suffering from hair loss, they have something very interesting for them. Number one, this particular thing called GFC or exosomes nourishes the root, stimulates certain cells and may get back your hair from thinning to thickening stage or may grow hair which have become villous. So what are these two stuff? GFC injections on the head scalp and autologous injections on the scalp. What are they? What's the difference? Which is better? So GFC stands for growth factor concentrates. Your blood is taken. There is a 45 minutes procedure with special tubes loaded with thrombin, etc. And there's a process of concentrating the growth factors. In your, in your blood, there is WBC, platelets, RBC, serum. They are growth factors. Your blood is made from the bone marrow. So they have got some very important growth factors which can stimulate certain cells of your hair follicle and get them back into thickness or may grow villous hair into full-fledged hair. So GFC sessions are taken once a month for six months, then maybe every three months. It may not grow hair in everybody. It may not thicken hair for everybody. It may work on some, may not on others. It's a trial and error approach. So this is called GFC, 45 minutes to one hour session of GFC. Now a new thing has come. For us, GFC is now old. The new thing has come is autologous exosomes. What are they? They are also taken from the blood, but it takes two hours to process and prepare. Now growth factors in GFC is limited in number. Okay. But the growth factors in exosomes are into trillion. One to two trillion growth factors inside the autologous exosomes your own stuff i'm not talking about exosomes from a fish sperm or exosomes of somebody else that's all marketing and bogus not approved now two companies in india have come who are providing kits to prepare autologous exosomes your own exosomes and the real exosomes so what are exosomes they are extracellular vesicles it's like bubble you know bubble the soap bubble they're like vesicles outside the cells in your body all over they are released by cells they are very, very, very tiny in measurements, you know, 50 to 130 nm. And they repair injured tissue. They regenerate and create new cells. And they play a lot of functions. They are like cargo ships going to different cells and helping repair and carrying a lot of stuff. So they, they transfer signals and the very important stuff. Imagine from your own blood, if you concentrate 2 trillion. So one of the reason for hair loss is not just DHT, the genetics hormone, but since you get cortisol due to stress, the stem cells at the bulge of the hair follicle and at the root of the hair follicle, the dermal cup sheath, the mesenchymal stem cells and the epithelial stem cells made up of CD24, CD34 and mesenchymal stem cells and growth factors. When you get stressed, they get a signal to slow down, become dormant or switch off and become from a thick anagen hair to very thin telogen hair. So when you're stressed out, cortisol is released, sympathetic nerves work here, catecholamine is released and your hair becomes thin. For example, if a thin is not getting good thing or you're stressed out, they will become thin and eventually fall out. So how to activate these cells? One of the factors is autologous exosomes. So they have the power once injected to activate them. So not for all, but in some patients, it may give some great results. So again, it's trial and error, but yes, it's much, much ahead of GFC. See, PRP, we have thrown into the dustbin. It is nothing in front of liquid PRF, GFC, autologous exosomes. Okay, a lot of people are still into the PRP. So the power of autologous exosomes, try it out. Nothing guaranteed, but yes, it is showing some amazing results in a lot of patients. So this was a brief video about difference between GFC and exosomes and the new thing into the world of hair loss and hair growth. It's called autologous exosomes.